this is uh, more of an old school demonstration of superposition of waves uh, using some different colored beads and some plastic molds here. Uh, one wave is shown here, the, the original red wave as it were. Um, any, anything shown as these red beads is going to be the sum of this original wave and whatever I insert with this plastic here. Now what, what this plastic guide will do is it will tell these green beads how high up to go. And if I align it up just right, we're going to get what we call constructive interference and you're going to get an amplification of the red total. And if I, uh, if I put this original wave out of phase with the new one, you're going to get destructive interference and they'll cancel out. So right now, uh, notice that the original wave shown on the beads has a peak at this first black reference point and a trough at the second one, and a peak at the third one, and so on. So if I insert this guide in here, and this is very old, so I have to be careful about that. There we go. All right. What I have now is the green guides are replicating exactly what the red wave was like before I added the second wave, if that makes any sense. So if you, if you notice the red wave now, the amplitude is much bigger. It's much uh, taller from peak to valley. And that is because this guide, therefore the green wave and the original red wave are in phase with each other and they add constructively. If I shift this over half a wavelength though, if I make this green peak, if I make that happen here, right, you can see in, in the cases where there's clean overlap, the sum total is now flat at zero. Because if you remember originally, the red wave used to have a peak here and a trough here. And I'm adding to that a wave that has a trough here and a, and a, and a peak here. Those wind up canceling each other out. You get destructive interference. We say that, the, uh, that this green wave and the red wave that was there originally, at that moment, were 180 degrees out of phase. Now, uh, you can also, with this bit of demonstration, uh, add other waves to this, like this one. Uh, this wave has a wavelength that's uh, one half this original one, so you will never get perfect amplification or cancellation, but it'll show that if you add waves of two different wavelengths, you can get a sum, which is a little more complicated in shape. And that's, that's what we're getting with the red beads now.